Howdy everybody. Well, it's uh, not really the official next project, but it's something that I'm going to work on here and I'll probably do a few videos. Um, let me start with the book here. This is a very old copy of the Dave Gingry book about building your own metalworking shop from scratch or from scrap. <clears throat> and this book number three is The Metal Shaper. There's been a fantastic series on YouTube lately by a YouTube creator named Cressel Anderson. And his, his channel is called Maker Size, M-A-K-E-R-C-I-S-E. -E. And it's a fantastic channel. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. But he's really got me motivated. For years and years, I've wanted to build one of these things. <clears throat> I used to actually own a South Bend Shaper. And it's a long story, but I sold it to my buddy Alan after I got my Bridgeport mill because I'm kind of limited on space. But the, having one of these small shapers made out of aluminum, I saw a photograph on the internet that somebody had weighed theirs and it weighed in at like 74 pounds. So I'm thinking this thing is going to be so cool. It's going to be portable and for my ultimate little miniature shop, it would be fantastic to have that. And I'll pan around a little bit. You see there's some strips of metal and a threaded, threaded rod and some ancient. You can see how old this tape is. It's probably 10 years ago that I thought about building this project. And here are some left-hand thread, threaded rods that <clears throat> I got for lead screws for vices. That's a whole other story. But um, here's the, the three inch by quarter inch and the one inch by quarter inch. Uh, steel that I've had. I've just had this for eons. It's just been rusting in the corner waiting for me to make something out of it. What else I've had is giant chunks of aluminum. And let me show you here. You can see they're marked four tall A, B, C, D, E, and gray one. The gray comes from, this is aluminum. It was a stand of some kind that my buddy Russ got and we split it up and he took half and I took the other half and I've chopped up and made some things out of it. Um, these are, these were part of that as well, but it's all aluminum and it's easily machinable and it's some giant chunks. So my thought is to make the shaper, the Gingri shaper, not from melting and casting pieces, but from machining them because I do have a Bridgeport mill and a 12 inch lathe. So, see what I've done, I've taken some of the, the drawings from the book and put them out on grid paper and made notes to myself about the size of the actual material I've got and what my cutting path would be for machining these down. Here's the column front. I'll probably start with this piece and um, this is the cross slide here. So, anyway, that's the idea. I cataloged the sizes of the parts. I made a list of the from the book of the actual sizes of the castings, and then I just compared them to the the, the uh, blocks that I have. And I have probably 90, 95 percent of what I need to make the project, at least from the large aluminum casting piece. And so I just want to do a relatively short introduction here. Here's another piece of that gray stock. I wanted to show this all as it is because I'm going to I'm getting ready. My next step is going to be to scrub, wash all this down outside, and let it air dry, <clears throat> and then I'll start marking it out to cut it with the bandsaw, and I'll probably probably try cutting it with the circular saw, table saw, with a, a certain kind of a blade and a special metal, metal cutting blade for non-ferrous metals. Years ago, when I had my South Bend lathe, I did not have a Vice for it, and I actually used four tall aluminum. I had read an article about it in the Home Shop Machinist magazine, and I believe this was it was from this block that I cut that vice. And the article, if you're really curious, you can look on the NEMS, the New England Model Engineering Society org website, and it's article number 57 in their series and it shows how I built the vise out of four tall aluminum so glad I have the a chunk of it left and like I said this is kinda what I'm thinking about making the column front from 
because it's a good sized piece of aluminum. And let's see what else do I need to cover. So I'll show, I'm, I'm not going to build the whole shaper now, but these pieces have been just laying around the workshop forever collecting dust and dirt. So my thought is to go ahead and machine them down basically uh, so I'll have a kit of parts to begin with. And um, um, I'll, I'll post a few more videos as progress goes along. But I just wanted to throw this out there. I have everything I need except for the sides. And uh, years ago I had bought um, side castings from Lionel at the Backyard Metal Casting. He was selling them at the time. And I'll either try to buy a set. I think my buddy Alan has a set I might be able to buy from him. Or if not, I guess worst case scenario, I can make some out of flat half inch aluminum stock. So that's the update and just a thought, a little next project in case you see a Gingri Shaper from Not From Castings, that will be me. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll keep you posted.